people have become too partisan, and, and I don't care who people vote for. Bob Hugan certainly voted for Donald Trump. He ran his financial campaign here in Jersey. But here he was, the presumed New Jersey Republican Senate candidate, campaigning deep in the heart of Ocean County, where 65 percent voted for Trump, hosting a roundtable with business leaders, ironically, to distance himself from the president. We need to represent all New Jerseyans, make sure that we work together to find solutions. Specifically, Hugan opposes Donald Trump's plan to claw back federal budget spending items like $7 billion in children's health insurance and $107 million in Sandy relief. The latter is an issue down the shore and here in Seaside Heights. Sandy was the toughest thing that I can ever remember times 10. And I lost my houses, my house and my cars and my businesses all at once. It's, it was ridiculous that Sandy money and, and, and also anything to do with uh, federal funding for, for the, the kids' health care was ridiculous to be pulled out of something. It was, it was really politics that people were playing, but I was going to stand up, and I, I'm very confident this money is not going to be lost. Hugan's a political newbie, former CEO of the controversial drug maker Celgene, and the political reality in Jersey is it dislikes Donald Trump. That's how analysts explain Hugan's swerve to the middle. It's hard to say whether this tactic is going to be effective or not, but it's certainly a necessary one. I mean, Donald Trump is very unpopular here in New Jersey. Uh, in our last poll at Monmouth uh, a month ago, uh, he had a 34 percent approval rating to a 61 percent disapprove rating uh, from voters in this state. So that's, uh, you know, telling you the uphill uh, battle that uh, Bob Hugan has to climb uh, because uh, Donald Trump really is the dominant factor right now. Uh, in the environment uh, that we're looking at for these midterms. It's not Hugan's only tactic against incumbent opponent Democrat Bob Menendez. Even though his corruption trial ended in a hung jury and the Department of Justice declined to retry him, Menendez was severely admonished by the Senate Ethics Committee. Hugan, a multimillionaire who's largely financing his own campaign, is running ads. It's a disgrace. New Jersey deserves better. Menendez campaign chairman Mike Solomon, responding to Hugan's tacking left, today stated Bob Hugan, who gave $5,400 to Trump, $250,000 to a Trump super PAC, was a Trump delegate, and Trump's New Jersey finance chair did everything he possibly could to put this administration in power. Which Hugan are we getting? Hugan wouldn't say if he wants Trump to campaign for him. I support President Trump in every way when he's something that's good for New Jersey, and I'll fight anybody who's doing anything that's not good for New Jersey. Hugan's got six months to move the needle, an eternity in politics, but he's got a long way to go. The latest poll showed Menendez up by 20 points. In Seaside Heights, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.